In this lesson, you will learn how to identify helping verbs. Helping verbs are aptly named because helping verbs help writers change tenses and be more flexible with their writing. They always combine with main verbs, which will be action verbs or linking verbs, in order to create verb phrases. So in the simple sentence, I walked to the store, we don't have any helping verbs. We have the verb walked. It's the only verb in this sentence. It is an action verb, and because it's the only verb, it is also the main verb. In the sentence, I was walking to the store when it started to snow, we've got two verbs that combine to make a verb phrase. Walking is an action verb. It's the main verb in the sentence because it's the last word in the verb phrase. Was allows the writer to use the past progressive tense here. I was walking to the store. I had been walking to the store for three hours. Similar to the previous sentence, walking is the main verb. It is an action verb. Had and been combine with walking to create the verb phrase. Had and been are both helping, helping verbs. There can only be one main verb in a verb phrase. The main verb is always the last word in the verb phrase. Any verb that comes in front of the main verb is going to be a helping verb. By the time I get home, I will have been walking for over six hours. So again, we have walking as our main verb. It is an action verb. Will, have, been, all combine with walking to create the verb phrase in this sentence. Helping verbs can also help linking verbs change tenses. In the previous slide, we looked only at action verbs as main verbs, but it's important to note that helping verbs can also be the main verb in a sentence. Try not to be confused by the fact that some helping verbs can sometimes function as linking verbs, unless it's the last word in the verb phrase or the only verb, it's a helping verb. So in the sentence, Joshua is a sweet little boy, we only have one verb is. Because it's the only verb, it is the main verb and it's a linking verb. The next sentence, Joshua was being very sweet with the puppy. I have a verb phrase. Being is the main verb, it is a linking verb. Was is the helping verb. Now I could just as easily have written the sentence, Joshua is being very sweet with the puppy. Is would still be a helping verb because it's part of a verb phrase and it's not the last word in the verb phrase. Joshua had been feeling sleepy all morning. Feeling is our main verb, it is a linking verb. Had and been combined with feeling to create had been feeling. Forms of the verb to be are the most common helping verbs. These are is, am, are, was, were. These verbs allow the writer to create what's called the progressive tense. Joshua is sleeping. Is is my helping verb. Sleeping is my main action verb. I am drinking coffee. Am is the helping verb to drinking, which is the main action verb. We are feeling excited about vacation. What's the main verb here? Feeling is the main verb, it's a linking verb. It links the predicate adjective excited to the subject of the sentence we. Are is our helping verb. Joshua was running when he fell. Main verb, running, was is the helping verb. The students were becoming restless during the lesson were becoming is the verb phrase. Becoming is the main verb. It is a linking verb. It links the adjective, predicate adjective restless to the subject of the sentence students and helping, sorry, and were is our helping verb. Forms of the verb to have are also common helping verbs. These are has, have, and had. These allow the writer to create what's known as the perfect tense. My brother has always walked to school. 
watch is our main action verb, has is a helping verb. Please note in this first example sentence that always is an adverb. It comes in between the helping verb and the main verb, and that's totally allowed. Just note that it is not in any way part of the verb phrase. It's an adverb. In the sentence, I have been feeling lethargic all afternoon. Feeling is our main verb. It's a linking verb. It links lethargic, the predicate adjective, to the subject of the sentence I. Have and been are both helping verbs. I had eaten enough cookies for three people. Eaten is our main verb. It is an action verb. Had is our helping verb. Please note, make a mental note and an actual note. Forms of the verb to have can also be action verbs. Don't assume that just because you see have, it's helping. Here, I have a headache. Have is the only verb in the sentence. It's While it's not necessarily showing somebody doing something, um, it still really is expressing here um, what we might consider to be a mental action. I have a headache. It's something that we own, therefore it's considered an action verb. Other common helping verbs just to keep your eye out for can and could. So an example would be can I have some more? Do, does, and did. He does not understand the directions. Again here note how not is an adverb coming in between the helping verbs. So you always want to be on the lookout for not just the word right in front of the main verb, but go back a few words and see if there are any adverbs in between there. May, might, and must. He must have lost his GPS device. Shall and should. I should go to the store with my mom. And will and would. I will buy some new snow boots. Here's what you must remember about helping verbs. Helping verbs are really easy if you can memorize these three rules. Number one, helping verbs are always part of a verb phrase. If it's a verb by itself and there are no other verbs with it, it cannot be a helping verb because it's not helping any other verb. To be a helping verb, it has to be helping another verb change tense. Helping verbs always precede the main verb. The main verb is the last verb in the verb phrase. And therefore, by definition, the main verb can never be a helping verb memorize these rules, helping verbs are going to be really easy to spot. It really does not get more complex than this.